Adityanath Yogi led Uttar Pradesh government on Tuesday order the transfer of 41 offices of the Indian Administrative Services and Provincial Civil Services. This is the second major reshuffle done by the newly appointed Uttar Pradesh government in the last 30 days. Ravi Rotela has been made the new Gorakhpur district magistrate, whereas Ashish Goyal the new commissioner of Alaba. Early on April 12, the newly appointed UP government has transferred 20 IS officers with immediate effect. In yet another regressive order impinging on women's rights, a girls' hostel at Indian Institute of Technology Delhi put up a notice asking its residents to wear fully covered decent Western or Indian dresses on their house day. House day is an annual event at the institute where residents can invite guests into the hostel premises for an hour. This year, the event is scheduled for April 20. The notice was put up at IIT Delhi Himadri Hostel and signed by the warden. Former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister Opanir Selvam said there is no question of both factions of AIADMK, AIADMK Amma and AIADMK Parichi Talaiva Amma uniting as long as VK Sasikala and her family members are part of the party and government. He further states it will not be an unconditional unison and it will not deviate from their basic policies which is against the family rule in the party. Any change in this stance shall be injustice to the people of Tamil Nadu and AIADMK Kado. The Indian Meteorological Department said that the country would receive a normal monsoon with a fair distribution of rainfall among major parts of the country. Monsoon 2017 will be a qualitatively 96% of long period average with a model error of plus or minus 5%. IMD Director General K.J. Ramesh said there will be a good distribution of rainfall across the country. The country will receive 96% of long period average. All dignitaries, including the president and ministers, may soon start giving speeches in Hindi if the parliamentary panel recommendations accepted by the president Pranab Mukherjee are implemented. Mukherjee has accepted most of the recommendations made in the ninth report of the Committee of Parliament on Official Language. The report was submitted in 2011. The panel recommendation that all dignitaries, including the president and ministers, especially those who can read and speak Hindi, may be requested to give their speech statement in Hindi only has been accepted as per the official order. Nepal President Bindia Devi Bhandari has been given a ceremonial welcome yesterday at the Rashtrapati Bhavan in the capital. President Pranab Mukherjee and Prime Minister Narendra Modi received Mrs. Bhandari. She had been given a ceremonial guard of honor at forecourt of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj also called on Nepal President Bindia Devi Bhandari.